WBC slash WBO junior middleweight champion Sebastian Fundor will reportedly relinquish his WBO 154LB title for his planned fight against Errol Spence Jr. in October. This move is due to the World Boxing Organization placing Terence Crawford as the mandatory for Fundor's WBO bill. According to Boxing Scene, rather than defend his WBO title against Crawford, Fundor, 26, will give up that strap and take the fight against Spence. Crawford, 40 0, 31 Koss is already scheduled to challenge WBA junior middleweight champion Israel Madrimov on August 3rd at the BMO Stadium in Los Angeles. On paper, Fundor's decision to fight Spence, who is coming off a loss to Crawford, seems weird. However, it does make sense business wise. Spence is a more proven PPV fighter Crawford, and it's a fight with a better chance of making money for Fundor. The Texas native Spence draws many fans to his fights at the 80,000-seat AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Spence's track record on PPV is better than Crawford's, who hadn't done good numbers until his fight against Errol last July. Many fans attribute that event's success to Spence, not Crawford. Fundor has a better chance of beating Spence, given that he's been involved in two car crashes, suffered eye injuries and weight gain, and had a lot of inactivity over the last four years. Since 2020, the former unified welterweight champion Spence has fought just three times. That inactivity alone has taken a lot from Spence's game, but it's a lot when you add in the car crashes, weight gain, Deny injuries. The timing of Fundor fighting Spence is perfect for him to beat the former champion. With the win over Spence, Fundor's popularity will soar, setting up a big money unification fight against Crawford if he defeats Madrimov for his WBA 154LB belt on August 3. Although many people expect Crawford to breeze through Madrimov, this may not be true. The Nebraska native has been on an extended victory lap since his victory over Spence, lapping up the praise and not returning to work immediately to take advantage of his win. Crawford is nearing 37 and has been inactive for a year. He's never fought at 154, and he's facing arguably the biggest puncher in the division. Like Spence, Crawford has been inactive, fighting only once a year since 2020.